Hey, hey, people. So we are now looking at Jasper Active Excel Lesson 7. There are two, four, six, eight, nine exercises to do here. So let's see if we can smack a couple out of the park here. Starting with creating named ranges. And here we go. It says select cells C5 to C6. So C5 and 6 right there. And then up here, notice we have the name box. Um, and it just says C5, even though I have two cells selected. So go to the formulas tab. And this is something you need to know for the test. In the defined names group, there's a name manager and there's define name. Click define name. In that dialog box, you're going to type revenues and leave the defaults and click OK. From now on, notice here it says revenues. Now on, whenever you select those two cells, it actually says, oh, that's the revenues. Or if you want to quickly get to it from some other place in the workbook, you can say go to revenues. So. Um, let's see, select cell 5C, uh-huh, uh-huh, we did that, we did that, next. Now we're going to create another named range, so C10 to C17, and define name again, and we're going to call this expenses. Okay, and select cell C7, in cell C7, equals sum and then revenues and there we go so you type that into the formula bar and hit enter now click c18 and type the formula equals sum and then ex and notice expenses shows up right here so i can click on expenses Double click on expenses and next. I suppose I should hit enter to lock that in. There we go. Um, select B7 to C7 and for this one in the name group we're going to do create from selection. Verify that it's got the left column selected and say OK. Now, the name box reveals this is called total revenues. So C7 looks like that. Total revenues. Next. Now select C18, then the Name Manager. Click the Name Manager dialog box, and notice we have expenses, revenues, total revenues that we've created. And we're going to click the New button up here to make another one. We'll call this one Total Expenses, and it filled itself in. It just knew. So make sure that. It is equal sheet one C18 with absolute values and click OK. And now click the close. Oh, now click close. There we go. Next. Now we're going to select cell C20 and type equals. And on the formula tab, you are going to select use in formula, drop down menu, and we're going to use total expenses. And then press a minus sign and use in formula. Oh, I need to do total revenues minus total expenses. So let me backspace a couple of times. Go back to your equal sign. Let me do this the right way. So we need to do total revenues minus sign using formula total expenses. There we go. 
and then hit enter. There we go. Let's submit it and get it. And hopefully my little mess up at the end is overlooked because we fixed it. Nice job.